Well, good morning, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It is the 29th of March, 2021. If you missed last night's full worm moon, um, you have another chance here tonight. Still about 99% full here this evening. So again, uh, check it out. First full moon here of spring. Looking at a recap of last week on a world scale here for, on a national retail federation cap calendar. So this is a maps versus a year ago. Here in the U.S., we were about one degree warmer than a year ago. Warmest in nine years, fourth warmest in 36 years. So much above average temperatures. Extremely warm here in the Northeast with actually near 80 degree temperatures. So really good week here for seasonal merchandise sales. 12% wetter than last year. What is the nine? Fourth, what is in 36 years? So much above average on that front. Obviously, the Southeast was the recipient of some severe tornadic activity. 67% less snowfall versus a year ago. Least in four, fourth least in 36 years. So not much snow to speak of. Canada, uh, again, a little bit warmer, warmer in nine years, uh, 4.3 warmer. Europe, a little bit cooler, cooler than three. Russia, also cooler than three. Um, China, a little bit cooler than last year, but still above average. Australia continues their cold trends here in fall, down under, um, coldest in six years. India, warmest in three. And Brazil, a little bit cooler than last year. Maps inset left are trends versus average. Um, We'll have a March update here when uh, next week, uh, but right now it looks like March in the U.S. is trending just a little bit cooler than last year, 0 0.7 cooler, but still 3.1 above average. So fifth warmest March in 36 years for the U.S. 10% drier than last year, but still 15th wettest in 36 years here in March. Um, just a hair above average, 2% above average. Snowfall was kind of non-existent in March for most of the country, 18% less than last year and 58% below average. So least in 11 years on the snowfall front for the U.S., Second least in 36 years, so not much snow to speak of other than maybe the Rocky Mountains, where um, Colorado had quite a bit. Season to date snowfall here, chart right here is U.S. trends. Uh, so in the U.S., we're trending about 6% uh, more than last year, so it's still 8% below average, 15th least in 36 years. So again, a below average snowfall season for the U.S. overall, as expected. We do believe, again, next this next winter will obviously be a very, very active snowy season. So we're projecting a, an early uh, onset of winter here. If you like snow, you'll like uh, next winter's forecast. Northeast was a uh, feast or famine. You either got into these big nor'easter storms um, or you missed them. Northeast overall, while it was up 39% over last year, we still ended up about 15% below average. Um, so again, it was heavy snow here in uh, eastern PA, New Jersey, parts of New York, but again, um, inland New York and many areas uh, throughout the Northeast uh, actually had below average snowfall. So the Region overall did not um, did not have an overly snowy winter again, except for the some of the coastal areas here closer to, to 360 Studios. Looking at this week, um, hard to believe here. Four April weekending, four April, 0 0.7 Fahrenheit warmer than last year, warmest in four four years, 14th warmest in 36 years, so above average on that front. Precip 37% uh, drier, so starting these drier trends again. Driest in 26 years for the U.S. overall, second driest in 36, so much below average national precip. Snowfall way down as well, 70% less than a year ago, least than eight, fourth least in 36 years, so much below average snowfall. Uh, we've got a major cold blast coming through here for the front half of uh, the weekend here. Friday looks to be very cold. Talk about that here next. But uh, Easter last year was the number one wettest, number one snowiest, uh, 14th coldest. It was pretty epic on that front. Uh, this year, uh, exact opposite. Number one driest, number one least snowy. So again, and, and ninth warmest. So a dramatically different uh, Easter. Um, warmer, drier, and less snowy, obviously, uh, this year. Looking at the frost freeze risk here. This is April 2nd here. You can see that white line here is where we think there'll be frost and freezes all the way down into the panhandle of Florida. Um, this is kind of uh, risky here because a lot of the vegetation has already emerged uh, throughout much of the southeast. So we are unfortunately going to be looking at some potential damage to some of the citrus down there and fruit trees. Um, coldest in 34 years. So again, this is a pretty extreme event here for Friday in the southeast and uh, even colder, obviously, in the in the northeast, where again, we also have some trees sprouting and flowers budding. So it could be some frost risk here, freeze risk uh, here toward the week. Looking at uh, next week, uh, ending 11 April here, mean temperatures versus average, a warm up across the country. Even the northeast will start to warm up. 0 0.3 warmer than last year, um, making it the seventh warmest in 36 years. 32% wet in the last year, but that's still 14th driest in 36 years. So below average national precip with the rainfall heavy moving up into Great Lakes. Snowfall, uh, pretty much none to speak of, least in 36 years, maybe the extreme high elevations of the Pacific Northwest. Look at the world two-week aggregate again today through 11 April, um, big map here. So again, we see the very, very warm conditions in the Central Plains. Um, Cooler along the East Coast here, but again, there will be a warming trend as we go through uh, next week. Very warm in Europe, um, and even Russia, Southwest Russia, starting to warm up. Um, so, and precip map is uh, versus averages inset left. 
So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week here, and we will be back here next week.